like, he said, I just like a virgin lady. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Just like a virgin lady. Madam, yes. Let me, let me say something here. What we are doing here is no joke. It is not joke. Because for a woman's for a woman to ask her husband, it's not just the man asking. The woman will ask based on the fact that I want to be sure this man will not go out to get it. So, if we don't ask, he, he might not just be enjoying it and he will just mm, and something happens outside and one woman gives it to him. The man is gone though. So, ma. Honestly, I've never asked, but he normally asks. He normally asks. So why have you never asked him? He never occurred to me. Okay. Know. Okay. Thanks for being truthful, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You're just coming in. Okay, so I'll leave you now. I will come back to you. I will ask, as we will still come back. Nothing. She's just coming in. We asked the question. She has not been following. She's just coming in. So she will go back to her. Yes, ma'am. Do you ask him? No. So the question is, how many of us women ask our husband, did you enjoy sex? Ma'am. No, I never do. No. So I will, I will kind of stop there. I will, hello, I will kind of stop there because we just realized that it seems most of the men tell the women, do you enjoy sex? Why our women don't ask our men, do they enjoy sex? That's what it means. So, a lot of things, somebody said earlier, there are a lot of things make up a good marriage. This lack of communication, communication is not just, ah, it's work. Uh, what, how much did you bring in? What to do with the children eat? Which school will they go to? I, I don't have to go to where. Which, what is your shoe side? What is your... Communication is far beyond that in marriage. And for the men, they want to be assured that their wives appreciate them. So if we women don't talk about it, and a woman outside starts to use words to play with the man, God help us. May the man return home safely in Jesus' name. Any other question? No. No punishment, sir. No punishment imposed on any woman for doing that. Please, sir. No impose punishment on the woman for that. Question. Please, we have somebody that wants question here. Question there. Question here. Two people. There's a man there. My question goes thus. In an event whereby the man asks his wife if she enjoyed sex and she said yes, whereas she never enjoyed that sex, what happens? So are you married? Sorry, I'm in to ask. Are you married? Yes. Okay. So what happens? That means she's lying. Yeah, we know she's lying. The man does not know. The man does not know, yeah. But she knows. Now, the question that we should ask is, why will she lie? Such a sensitive thing to the husband that, yes, I do. Whereas she didn't. That is another question we need to answer here. Why will a woman lie that she's not enjoying it? That she's enjoying it, whereas she's not. What do you think would be? Please, I need answers. Because a lot of women, we do it. There's somebody here that wants to answer. Please, you just need to answer. Raise up your hand so that you can be seen. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I think uh, the whole thing about this, uh, uh, the marriage, the sex, and the communication boils down to what you've learned or studied in preparing yourself into the marriage. Because before you get married, there are a lot of things. There are a lot of books out there. You read. It's not just about say maybe sex is more or less to me. I think that sex is even spiritual. Or you taking your time to prepare a meal. Sex goes deep. Okay. You think yes. of this sex. You think of the foreplay before you approach a woman. 
What do you do? What are your words? What are your tone? So let me let me let me cut in there. The question is, why would she lie? Why would she lie to the man that asked her, do you enjoy it? Why is lying? Yes. The reason a woman lies, because I have heard this several. A lot of women, they fake that a sex play. That means they're not enjoying it. it. Yes, they don't enjoy it because they don't know what is orgasm. They don't know. Yeah. They need to know it. Okay. So they want to lie, not to hurt the man. Yes. Sir, let's hear a matter of Praise the Lord. I think some women may fake if they know the extent to which their mind can go. You know, there are some men who are not on top of their games. And the wife may not want to offend him. If he tells him the truth, that she did not enjoy it, whether, or else he knows that this man cannot do better than that, so she wants to give him some respect. So if you look at it critically, we may not really blame the woman for saying lie. Don't you think she's not helping the man? By lying to him. That means what? let me uh, let me let me finish. That means she's leaving room probably for temptation. Because if um, she gets a man. I'm not I'm not supporting her. For telling lies. But I'm trying to imagine Why what could make her to do that. So it still boils down to the fact that for a woman to apply to her husband that she's enjoying sex, that means the man is not up to his game. It's not that's what I'm saying. Doing... And she wants to maybe give him some respect. Okay, but that is not right. The communication is deceitful. Yes, please. Okay. To me, I feel one of the reasons why a woman has to lie is uh, due to her cultural background. Africans, per se, you know, we uh, in this part of the world, we are not like the Oibos, so to say. So, because of our upbringing, our parents, they were not actually, they didn't actually know about this thing called sex. So, they want to quotes and uh, you know maintain this culture of African. I think so that's one of the like reasons. I, like some of, some people just echo here this afternoon. This is Africa. This is Africa and a lot of Africa is happening in a lot of homes. May God help us. Please before we go further, Madam who invited you? Yes. So you have your gift. I want to exhaust all my gifts. Please give her one for me. Thank you very much. Give her one. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you so, much. so, Africa is happening in a lot of homes. And we are not enjoying our marriages. So, should we say this is Africa? Knowing fully well that we are all human, whether Caucasian, whether Indian, whether American, we are all human with the same kind of feelings. And homes are being broken. So, should Africa happen in our home? Yes, ma'am. You have something to say? I want to, yes. I just want to contribute. The reason why a, a woman will lie, in my own opinion, I, I feel it depends on how the two relate. Sometimes it might be from the man. If the man is not really showing her, maybe, probably, you know, a lot of women, they are not really, like, as good as the men are. But if the man is the type that makes her always feel as if she doesn't fit in, so for her to cover up or for her to make the man feel good, the, ma the woman might lie over it. So that's what I think. Just to make the man way. feel good. Yeah. It's not helping. Yes. Um takes two to tango when it comes to sex. You just don't go to your wife when you feel like or when you have the urge. You prepare her before you go to her. And you make her enjoy the sex. The foul play and everything is there before the sex itself. 
So for a woman to tell the man that yes, it must have been happening over time, and probably she must have discussed with the man, and there's no change. So she would just tell him, yes. Okay, now from the point you just pulled out, it means that sex does not just start right there in the room. It must yes. have started gradually. There must because be pre, pre, it has to be with play. Yes. In the mind, in the mind of the, the man, body, he will go to the woman, he probably he will play, he will touch her, okay. make her feel that, oh, I want this thing, but not just you approach that woman. You hit her on the bed. Bam. So that's oh, why. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's no, why she had to lie. That that's why she had to lie to the man that I'm enjoying it. Yes. At that point, you don't enjoy anything. You just allow him. You allow him to have his way. Yes. Yeah, People are testifying. Yes. So we need yes. a change in the atmosphere. Yes. Please, yes. our madam, the next lady, please. Okay. A woman could lie that she enjoyed sex. Probably, maybe she doesn't want the husband to feel less of himself. Or she doesn't want him to see her as maybe something else. Maybe she has been. She has lot. been yes, like an alot. Maybe she has been doing it elsewhere and she's used to that lifestyle. Now she wants to imbibe it into their marriage. So okay. a man could just pretend. Let me ask a question now. So, do our men want. We women to lie to you. They don't want us to lie to you. So, when a woman comes and tells you, oh boy, you know, try. Please don't pick offense. Don't pick offense, oh. All you need to do is to sit down and go and look at her, you will try next time. So, let's go to the next question, please. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I want to go back to the question my uncle just said about a lady. Is, that, is it only right men will be eating all the time? Okay. No, wait. It's not only right. Ladies, you can use different types of um, and then this decision that you can make. You can do a bar tomorrow. You know the type of a bar. You can do semo the other day. You know the difference of semo. Not only rice. Rice is just bigger than that. Okay. Now we're getting to the main thing. The main thing. We are talking about it now. Women, you should learn the act of sex. You should learn it. It's not just by Sugbalaja and the man. Honestly, we should learn it. It still takes two to tango. If the man is not enjoying, tell the woman. A lot of things can be done. This issue of, I'm a child of God. I'm a pastor. I'm not going to lie about that. But there are some things you need to do in your home as therapy for your sex life to improve. Don't say that. You don't know I'm a pastor. Like a pastor said, this is carnality. In the home, it has nothing to do with carnality. I know, I know. That's no, sir. Some people say it in their homes. They will put born again in it. Huh? So, do you still have a question, sir? Okay, we still have a question. We have one. We, we, I need the in house questions. Yes, sir. Yeah, my mother there was saying something about preparing the mind and the rest which is exactly the way it should be right but in the event that all this has happened yet the woman lies down there like a log of wood what do we do let's not okay yes in the event that this has happened right good question and all this has happened what if she doesn't know how to do it i don't understand that's it you say you don't understand what if she doesn't know how to be good what if she doesn't know how to be good? Because I know of my neighbor one time. My neighbor came to me because probably her husband has been complaining about it. And she came to me and told me, <laughs> and told me that, look, I don't know how this thing, I will do this thing. Me, all I know is that when I want to have a baby, I will lie down. He does what you want to do and get up. But this, all this time, I don't know. I don't know. I, how will I learn? I couldn't tell her to go and buy anything. I just thought that, you know what? If I'm the one, I know what I will do. 
But me telling somebody else to go and do something, they'll say, hey, now you talk him. Now you go tell me, say, make I go do her. And I say, pray, let the Holy Spirit help you. But, and I told her, you need to learn. You need to ask. You need to research. You need to learn. There's nothing that cannot be learned. There's nothing that cannot be learned. You can learn anything. Amen. So, for a woman that doesn't know, she doesn't know. She doesn't know. And the man who is her husband, she knows she doesn't know. And help her out. You need to help her out. Don't say because she just lie down there like log of wood. Bah. No, it's not proper. Yes, any other question before I go to the next one? Okay. It says, hmm, this one, a serious matter. I want to have sex with my wife. Must we, must we always discuss it first before we do it? And why? Must we discuss it like a board meeting? Before, <laughs> must we discuss it first? And why? Definitely, yeah, because it's true. I've had situations, I've had, I've had situations or people saying, if, look, let's draw a timetable. Monday, one time a week. Next month, three weeks, three months. Up, no, oh, oh, that thing is killing. So why do people, must they discuss about it? Let's just say someone that has this regularly. Must they first of all discuss, okay, they are discussing, now how do we do it? You lie down like this, or you, when I come for work, or you, so let's talk about it. Yes, on, oh, oh, let's talk about it. Give him, give her the mic, please. All right, praise the Lord. I think this one I learned from my daddy, so I will say it today. I learned it that, you know, as children, we watch what our parents do. So, my daddy will find fantasies, you know, things that will please my mom in the evening. She will say, ah, today I'm in, in the kitchen, you know. I'm the one that will cook. I will cook. I will do this. I say, ah, see, we have to shower, okay? You know, preparing a woman's mind. These are the discussion now. You are discussing. You prepare a mind. So you mean after the man have done all these things, you will still tell her or tell him, come and sit down, let's discuss again. This no, is more than discussion. I, I think I understand. Yes, it's the normal thing. That is the normal thing. If a woman, from what somebody said, you prepare the woman mm -hmm. before time. Yes. Like foreplay and all that. Foreplay starts the talk yeah. before the action. I think what is actually happening here is that either the man or the woman is already saying, come, you know, say I'm tired. If you know you want to have it, let's talk about it in the morning. You need to fix another day for it. I'm tired. That is what is happening in the homes. It's real. It's real. Oh, so wow. I think it's that kind of discussion they're talking about. Okay. That let's, kind of let's draw the day. Every Monday, sex. You know, it doesn't work Tuesday, that way. Tuesday, no sex. Timetable. Time Timetable. That's the discussion they're talking about. Oh. Or must they just, when they feel like, there's sometimes you feel like, okay, I and think... you just, and the person, like a career lady, somebody just said, a career lady, and a career man, so you just feel like, mm. and the other person should be saying, okay, I welcome you. But you see, in most house, houses these days, or generally, they must have time to. Yeah. Is it right? No. Yes, ma'am. It's, it's not right. It can never work. Maybe if it can work for a man, I mean, for a woman, it can't go for a man. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it can't go time for a table. man. If you have time table for a woman, yeah. it can go for a man. Uh, once a woman has a time table, that means you are trying to destroy your marriage. Okay, man. Let's hear. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. One thing we must realize is that marriage does not have a manual. Yes. Marriage does not have a manual. Marriage or does, sex. Marriage and sex does not have a manual. So what works for me may not necessarily work for you okay. okay so i discovered that a few months back my sex life with my husband was 
dwindling. So one of the days we just sat and we were discussing what's actually happening. Why is it that this thing is going down by the day? Is it because we are finished giving birth and all that? So we just decided that at least once in a week or two times in a week we have to do it. That's what we decided. And ever since we started it, things have taken a very positive shape. So Ma, let me take you somewhere. Let's learn from her. She said, they noticed. How many couples noticed? They noticed and they both decided to talk about it. That is it. Talk about it. They notice. It is only the man that notice. Call the wife. If it is the wife, call the woman. I've had somebody tell the wife, you'll be a lot. Why are you discussing that kind of thing with me? So, like she said, doesn't have a manual. To some extent, I agree with you. To some extent, yes, there's a manual for marriage. Because we're in the church, there's a manual for marriage before God. If it's done right, you get it right. And that is it. So, discuss it when you find out. But this case, they want board meeting first. They want appointments to see themselves inside the home first. That is the issue. So, you want to know, is it right or wrong to have that? The person that asks, they are here and they want to know, is it right or wrong to discuss eat sex before? Sure, I don't answer. Praise the Lord. Yes, hallelujah. Okay, I just want to add, I don't think there's anything wrong. It depends on the people involved. And what's the there's no, it's not copy and paste. Like what she said, what works for her may not work for the other person. Okay, now. No, just like no. what she said, when they start, let me, sorry, let me No, just, I want to, no. there's, I need us to have the basis of the answer question. Somebody is complaining though. If, 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 discussing, complaining. if discussing it will help them to improve and do it better, I don't think there's anything wrong there. If they find out that, maybe like she said, they are losing interest probably because they are, they are maybe they have gotten so busy everybody is busy they are not even having time for themselves and they now dis- discover that it's going down and they came together and discussed they discussed Ma, and, and it let's get them. let's get the question the question is this i need us to get the question thank you it's probably the man or the woman that wrote this question and asks do we need to discuss having sex before if the man or the woman didn't have an issue with that thing, will not ask that question. Do we need to discuss it? Okay, if yes, give them yes, why reason? If no, tell them a way out so that they can go home and use it to be better. That's what we ask. I'm still ask, answering the same thing. I said, if they, or is it that anytime they want that? Yes, that, anytime they want to discuss it, what they think. Right letter. No, that one is wrong. It's wrong for it, for you to discuss at any time. But if you find out, I'm still on her side. If you find out that you're losing interest, it's just like it's just like a, a diminishing return. Just like when you eat a particular thing every day, every day. No, I'm talking about something that is real that happens, and you see that especially for women, most especially when they are so engrossed with. This when they start having responsibility and all that, they may not even think about it. But the thing we just they just discover that they are they are not there when okay. they are supposed to be. Let's hear somebody else, sir. Praise the Lord. I think uh, first and foremost, I will say no to such. There is no need to make a board meeting or begin to announce. You see. In marriage, when it comes to sex, it's, we are talking about communications, communications. The way I will communicate to my wife and she will understand may be different from another man communicate to the wife and she will understand. Some communication could be verbal. Some communication could be action-oriented. So it depends on your own spouse. You study your pa- spouse. Then when your spouse is passing a kind of message, you should be able to understand. It's not when he or she will now come and make a table for two or three to discuss. Oh, no. That is, I, I disagree with it. 
Praise the Lord. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. I think the answer is no. Because according to the Bible, it says, don't deny your husband your body. And husband, don't deny your wife. It's vice versa. So the Bible didn't say we should discuss husband. No, the Bible did not say. Just take it. Yes, no. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. It's not by force. When you want to approach somebody, you know, but more than maybe midnight, you wake up. Did you agree? Or should I? Or shouldn't I? So I don't think the answer okay. is yes. And some men will say that I am tired. Why the woman need it? So nobody's supposed to deny each other. It's not, I don't see anything discussion or booking appointment for that. Praise the Lord. Okay. Any other opinion? Any other person before I go to the next? Because we need to eat something. So we'll go on a break. Praise the Lord. Yes. The issue there is that the woman does not have rights, both of them does not have rights to sit down to talk about it. They lack communication. If communication is there, my husband cannot talk to me. I will say no. I don't need it. Even if it's 2 a.m. Once he's touched me or he uses his leg, I should understand and know yes. what he needs. So communication should be there. Because when the communication is there, the bond is together. So I don't need to wait for him to, uh, to table what. It's left for me as a woman to upbraid myself, learn more stars and give it to him. Make my marriage go hard.